Drop! Hello everyone and welcome to the Illegal Gaming Chop Shop. <laughs> and I'm here. I'm here with D-Free. What's up, man? <laughs> that was your that was the first time you heard that intro. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it caught me so off guard too. I was just showing, like, okay, let's go. Alright. Like, Stop! <laughs> That's why I made it that way. Uh, oh. Zen will also be joining us right now. He's just going to town on some pizza, uh, but we have limited time, so <laughs> we got to get this going. He'll come in at any point, though. For uh, sure. <laughs> so today's game that we will be talking about is none other than Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, currently on the Switch, and we're talking about it specifically because I realize that there are three. Like, between me, D-Free, and Zenrot, we all have, like, different introductions and, like, kind of how we play Smash Brothers. And it's actually very rare for you to get, like, exactly the same amount of, like, different, like, levels of playing <laughs> Smash Brothers in there. So, yeah, I'll ask, let me start with you, D-Free, since, again, limited time. At any point, we could lose D-Free to Gogeta. If Gogeta news drops and he leaves, that's why. <laughs> so... <laughs> So, D Freak, for sure. why don't you tell us about uh, your experience with, D uh, with Smash Brothers? If people have not already seen your amazing live stream oh, of Smash Brothers my. Ultimate. <laughs> so, just uh, just Smash Bros. Ultimate? No, nah, just Smash Brothers in general. It's all good. Uh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll start off with a little bit of my experience then. Um, I played, what was it, the 64? 64. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the 64 version. Uh, and then we also had the GameCube one. I played that. And then after that, the only one I played after that was the 3DS version, and I played that for about a month. And here we are. I haven't actually been playing Smash for the last like week and a half because I was kind of sick, and I didn't really want to kind of like spread germs like that because mm -hmm. other people use my Switch. Yeah, fair. Um, so I haven't played in a week and a half. But I will say, if they haven't seen the stream, it was hilariously fun and hilariously bad how often I was dying. So I was really, really bad uh, as someone that hasn't really played you know, in such a long time. And then I go back and I play and I'm just like, you know, at this point, I'm just I'm just having fun and I'm still pretty bad, but not as. And also uh, Zenrod, I think, has finally joined us or at least yes, he's he typing. So hello, Zenrod. Welcome. D Free just told us his experience of uh, like his level of. Yeah, all I heard, all I came in was I heard him say he's trash and then we. <laughs> yeah, I'm crap. <laughs> so that's where he's at. Zen, why don't you tell us what your current like thing with smash brothers is uh i play ultimate like all the time i play with your brother a lot it's true um play like every night that i'm not streaming i'm probably playing ultimate but i i don't know i can't bring myself to like sit down and really really go hard at it for some reason mm -hmm. I, I like i want to be good but i don't want to be so good that i can't play for fun anymore <laughs> you know what i mean oh yeah oh like the the different like, like tiers I have to of... be a competitive dick about it yeah i get you it's the it's the point like there's like different levels where but there is a point in Smash Brothers where you just become so good that playing anyone else below that just becomes like redundant. At that point, you're just so good that <laughs> why are you gotta it's leave it not fighting? Not fun anymore. <laughs> no, unless you're like trying to. So train I, I'm them. like I'm like a really good casual. Yeah, I can bar see where you're as good as you can get as a casual, but then to the right of it, there's like all the people that actually know how to play that are way better than you. <laughs> I'm the top of the left column. You're basically Don't worry, I'm the bottom of the casual column. You're you're the scrub killer. You're the one that they have. To, you're like the mid boss. Yeah, I'm the I'm the gatekeeper at tournaments. <laughs> Shitty guys, and then everyone good beats me. Uh, and then for me, I'm probably somewhere in between D Free and Zenrot because I'm I don't super I don't think about Smash ever in like a competitive thing. It's more like I pick my dudes and then I try my best to fight and sometimes I pick a new character and see how they go. But I've except for maybe like brief spots in melee until I learned how good future melee players were, I never actually stopped and was like, I'm just gonna hone my craft for this one character over and over again. I never got to that level. I'm actually disappointed. You think you're better than me? I think I am better than you. <laughs> Just, I, I watched money match. Your, you money beat, match. You can't beat me. I watched your stream. I can beat you. <laughs> I, I, I know your tactics. Your tactics is jump and then press up B the second it looks like you think you need to recover. <laughs> oh man! You know what? That's the old tactic. Now I have two more. Okay, <laughs> we're we're gonna have to run a money match it's at some point. Triple the size of his repertoire. Counter. 
I have a counter and then a counter for the counter. How about that? All right, fine. We're going to have to settle this in Smash later <laughs> to see if I actually can claim. I, You know what? Funny enough, I did be- beat you in Fighter Z during the beta. I, you were the only person I beat in the beta. <laughs> <laughs> Wookie, please. You did, have to do, you did have to do that. You did I have damn, to you me. put him on blast. It's not even about fighters. <laughs> no, but I just remember. Don't, don't. Don't come at me because I have like a memory of a steel trap. I will remember. We've established that I'm not good at fighting games. What more do you want? <laughs> I don't know. I see your legend stuff. You're pretty good there. I've seen you oh play PvP. <laughs> Did you really just go legend? Yeah, I see. I saw. I literally just watched you f- f- fight with Pyrrhus. You won. You got that comeback. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm freaking good at Legends, but like I suck at the the actual fighting game. So that's just always going to be the case. I've never been able to sit down and just lab it. That's why. Mm. All I, of them are like that. Whether it's like games that are traditional fighters, like Street Fighter and stuff. Like I just, I'm just not good at it. It it takes having a person. Like the only reason I can say that I can get better at fighting games is because I have someone who's like Zen, where I'm not at Zen's level, but I can occasionally beat him. So it makes it worse. Is that I can feel that I can win. So therefore, that means I can get better. <laughs> I'm sure that does help too. Just to have somebody to practice with. That's not something I really ever had. At least not. But anybody that was like clear cut just better than me at any of these games, really ever. So yeah. you practice in Smash. I'll happily beat the shit out of you in Smash every day. Hey. Yeah, I actually do need a practicing buddy. I actually hit up Sora the other day. I just haven't followed through with it. So do it, man. Yeah. Sora is really good, and he's really bad at teaching. He's really good at the game teaching. <laughs> he's like, wow. all right, who do you want to learn? And I'm like, I, I want to learn um, Pokemon Trainer. He's like, all right, cool. Pick Pokemon Trainer. He's like, all right, I will. And then he just beats the shit out of you for like an hour and a half. Damn. But what do I do? And he's like, oh, I don't really know. <laughs> I can't really explain it. Play good. Get good. Play play better. better. And then you'll win. Get good. Squirt. Oh. <laughs> that's a good way of learning. Yeah. I do want to get better, though, so I'll have to play more. That's that's just it. Just got to play more. Dedicate. I'm on Palutena now because she has my new favorite taunt. That's an important component of who I main is the it? obnoxious taunt. Yeah. Taunt I suicides, I immediately spam the shit out of the taunt button. <laughs> <laughs> so I need someone who has a really aggravating taunt. Freaking troll! <laughs> oh my god! I think I said uh, the my uh, the only character I like to taunt with after winning is Donkey Kong, and that's because he has the throw your hands up in the air and do like the D low Brown, put your move your head side to side <laughs> for all the like two oh, like, people out there they who took re- away. You're too slow. Oh yeah, they- Sonic again because they took that out. Yeah, Sonic's you're too slow was taken out of the game because it was wow. too OP wow. a taunt. Nerfed. Wow. <laughs> The saddest nerfs. So nobody should ever touch Sonic again now. Just because here. Yeah, that's the only reason yeah. to play Sonic. That was, it's the, the that spam you, that was the slow. only other reason. <laughs> oh, man. Since we're talking about characters, I will say that um, we should say what characters we've been trying to play, at least. D-Free, uh, since I last remember seeing your stream, it was a lot of Kirby and Mario. Have you picked up anyone else? Well, that was because, for one, to be fair... The game literally came out the, the the day, well, the night prior, for one. That was the day one stream, right? Yeah. And two, a lot of it was the story mode, the spirit mode. Yeah, World of and Light. And then I didn't really have the characters. Yeah, yeah. So that's why. But um, I've been I've been trying, <clears throat> trying is the optimal word there, to uh, use some of the Fire Emblem characters and Sonic. Those are the characters. Like, they're kind of gimmicky, though. Like, I, I feel like my play style isn't suited to somebody like Marth. I think he was a little too slow for how I want it. It's kind of weird. The only one I don't have right now is actually, you know what? I don't have the, are, are the corns unlockable? Yeah. Okay. I don't have those. I don't have Crom and I don't have Lucina, but I have all the other ones. You need to get and those are the ones Crom. I um, he's the best. Uh... That, that's what I've heard. So I've been trying to get him. I've been trying to get him, but well, to be fair, I haven't played in like a week, but I've, I've been trying to get him. And the last one I got was Roy recently. It's just when you play classic mode, it makes you you pretty much have to play with a new character every single time. So I can't really get the feel if I'm all I'm doing is playing classic mode over and over and over and over and over. Yeah, yeah. I so that's it. my issue. Yeah, and the the game is it has the weirdest unlocking where it feels like they heard the one feedback from a very small minority of original people who like Smash unlocking Smash characters where they said you don't unlock a lot of people, and then for this one they said what if you unlock everyone? And it was like that's too <laughs> too extreme, bro. Way too OP, man. That's ridiculous. You added like 500 characters to this goddamn game. 
Yeah, the game is super expansive. That's really cool, though. I really do. I generally do like the games that have those super big rosters. It's just a pain sometimes to unlock all of them. But I say this, and there are people that had all the characters day one. So it is oh, what yeah. it is. <laughs> but th- those were people who were like, I don't want to deal with any of this. I'm just going to suicide one stock, reset <laughs> reset the switch, get these characters now. Yep. Which, yeah, so. that's perfectly fine. I think since Melee, people have been exploiting ways to get the fighters right away, like leaving your GameCube on for 72 hours to unlock Mewtwo. Oh, my God. I was like, it's no. It, oh, I love that you could unlock everyone again, like the old days. Uh, what's the special technique to bypass having to do that? Yeah, the, it's a lot of just, like, literally play. It's There's none of the mystery of, like, the old ones where it was like, I have no fucking idea what to do to unlock these characters. But at least it's not, like play 200 700 matches and then Mewtwo might show up and then you can fight him. Did I lose internet? I thought I did for a minute, but I guess we're back. Yeah, oh, okay, we're too. good. We're I good. was I was waiting for it to I thought it was linking I thought it was lagging out there. All three of us not. just were like waiting to see if it was <laughs> lagging out. <laughs> oh, this is why we're so good together is that we're just so ready to go like someone's <laughs> going to lag soon. Yeah, I, I could have swore it was lagging. So no, we're good. Uh, and speaking of lag, that Wi-Fi is also not the greatest on Smash Brothers either. Oh yeah, it's not good. No, no, it's not. Not it's at not. all. And that, you know what? I, you could tell everybody knew it was going to happen too, because everybody like the month before was like, "Make sure you get the adapter for your Ethernet." Like that's all that I saw, and I was like, "Oh, it's really going to be that bad, huh?" But to be fair, like I said, I don't play a lot of fighting games. And if I do, I don't really play a lot on online. But I did go in, um, and I was like, yeah, this is not the business. I definitely got to get that thing before I try again. Yeah. Yeah, the adapter thing? Yeah. Playing uh, playing laggy matches makes it just so, like, I tried to play, I think, one time. I was trying to use Pac-Man against Zen, and it was so horribly laggy. And I was like, I can't do shit. I, I can't make my paths. I just, like, this is useless to me. <laughs> this doesn't seem like I could do anything. Yeah, that's horrible. Yeah. You're just not able to play the game. That sucks. Yeah, and especially since the game requires you to be jumping a bunch. So trying to jump on to specific platforms and trying to get the right way just feels like the game is constantly, like, fucking up left and right. Yeah. So. The the the, con- the current thing of any th- fighting game, apparently, if the Wi-Fi ain't good, then it just sucks to play. Similar again to like Fighter Z when that thing launched with bad <laughs> network uh, stuff, and then I'll say Xenoverse Two, even though I don't think not a lot of people still play Xenoverse Two. <laughs> no, not anymore. But that game always had it's one and two always had bad net code, so it's a tradition apparently. Just continue on the tradition of bad net codes and something you'd like to play. <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, but yeah, the. I'm really enjoying Smash Ultimate. I, it's kind of the surprise of, like, I didn't know what kind of game it would be, like, what kind of stopgap of... I just know it's on Switch, and then I played the previous one, and for whatever reason, the Wii U version, I liked playing it, but I didn't feel, like, super attached to it in a weird way, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like, something about it didn't make me want to continue playing, but Smash Ultimate, I have a, a more of a feeling of, like, okay, I think I can, can keep I can keep going and I can keep playing. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that like, I think in the last smash game, there was a more emphasis on just like either get a lot of people together and just play crazy fun smash brothers or get online. There was no in between. Like if I played story mode, it was unless you were like my brother and you did amiibo training, there wasn't really a lot to do just single player wise. (laughs) Yeah. But this one, there's at least, like, uh, a good, like, if you just care about multiplayer, you can try and play some multiplayer online. It's not the worst thing in the world, even though sometimes it will completely shit on you. But for people like me who was like, well, I like to just, like, sometimes be by myself and not get wrecked online. It's nice to be like, here's a computer to just completely shit on you, and you won't understand why most of the time. And I can play as Donkey Kong. And I don't have to be fearful that my opponent... Donkey Kong is good in Ultimate. He's really good in Ultimate. I feel like he's pretty good in Ultimate. It's one Donkey Kong is also one of those fighters who is I guess uh he's my Ryu where every time a new game comes out I check I check out I check out uh Donkey Kong to see how he's changed <laughs> cuz he's been in the game <laughs> since 64. And that's similar to Kirby. The only one I feel I don't go back to is Mario. Just because like for some reason Mario feels weird to play as. Mario is also really 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 good. 
Oh, that's good. Is he? I couldn't. I couldn't get the hang of Mario. His combos are like stupid easy, and they do pretty good damage. Oh, so you just make me feel like crap. Couldn't get the hang of them. Um, <laughs> well, it's it's okay because you don't know what they are. So I'm, I'm, I'm I mean, just getting them. Wow. You couldn't do them. That I don't know if different. that's a good thing or a bad thing. During it this, is, oh, it's okay. You don't know. How. During this entire time, I'm gonna play your death montage as Mario as he <laughs> dies to Rob over and over again. <laughs> Yo, I died to Rob like thirty times. <laughs> no, I know. I, I watched. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, but yeah, that's the game. I think we're all just kind of different levels of enjoying it from like, <laughs> at different levels of going like, oh, I wonder how. I want to like continue playing it. It's just the sense of like I need to actually find someone else. I need to basically get first of all. I need to get better internet. That's my number one case. I just need to get better internet <laughs> before I actually try and play people online. But actually, you play my brother good enough. How's the connection on that? Too bad. I mean, if you're in a lobby with like people that you know, mm-hmm. usually not too bad. Like, even on Wi-Fi, it's not the end of the world. But when you start getting like randoms in there, all, all of a sudden it tanks. Uh, I could see. Problem that. is, if it even lags a little bit, it's gonna lag like the whole game. It never like fixes itself. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's bad. Yeah. Fix your Wi-Fi, Nintendo in general. <laughs> You're not going to listen to us, but please do it anyway. <laughs> In case you're listening. You know, you Make never sure you know. Dokkan listens to To Be Released. That's That much is true. <laughs> With the uh, Reddit spies. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> they never left us. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They never went anywhere. <laughs> no, they didn't. So the other thing I wanted to talk about, which is related to Smash Brothers, which is the number one thing most people half the time it's talking about. Here's Smash Brothers. Here's the game, and then the other half is who the fuck do I want in Smash Brothers? So with oh god, yep. Yeah. So with them adding uh, Piranha Plant, and then the other one is Joker, which is still hilarious to think about. Um, I think they've kind of gone on and said that the the next DLC characters are all going to be new to Smash Brothers, meaning series not found typically in smash brothers so that kind of limits to who can be in it but also since it was joker who has never appeared in any nintendo game except for the nintendo 3ds version of persona q2 if you want to count that (laughs) that that is technically (laughs) the first game joker showed up on a nintendo system um but when joker was released everyone's like well this now just means anyone because he wasn't even that related to nintendo like even if you take joker wasn't even on the radar no, nobody expected him. Cloud was expected simply because he's Cloud and Final Fantasy started on um, uh, Nintendo systems. So it's like, okay, there's a through line. Snake, Metal Gear Solid, bad translation was on the NES, so makes perfect sense. There was that weird anime version of Metal Gear Solid 1 on the GameCube. So again, they, it could tie back to Nintendo in some way. But now it feels like anyone's like, well, now that anyone can be in it, people are just going crazy with like, okay, I want now, um, uh, I'm trying to like say, say, say a character that doesn't sound like too crazy, but also doesn't call out anyone that knows me because <laughs> then I'll reveal that I'm making fun of the Smash characters I picked. Um, I'm just not going to continue that thought, but you do get, you get what I'm saying, right? <laughs> well enough. Good. So this is, that was a very long preamble way of saying, who do you want Smash, <laughs> who do you want in Smash Brothers? <laughs> have to be from series oh i guess because they're the series aren't going to be in the game yeah. does assist trophies but they don't have a fighter from the series count you know what i don't know just simply because okay. that, i don't know what the well, rules are i'm gonna say isaac just in case oh yeah done and it's criminal that he's just an assist trophy he was put on the same tier as shovel knight and Bomberman and i forget who else oh um alucard just like they they technically have like a, they they're counted as like a fighter, but they're not actually a fighter. They're a trophy with moves. And they're a the shitty item. Yep. And this is trophy. Um, other than him, from a series that's never been in Smash or in Riku, if Kingdom Hearts counts, if, if they don't count as Final Fantasy, but Square Enix is assholes, so that probably won't happen. No. Plus, if it was oh man, if it was Kingdom Hearts, I would really hope it would actually just be Goofy. Just add Goofy into. <laughs> Goofy's version from Kingdom Hearts. Well, and Banjo Kazooie, obviously. Oh yeah, Banjo Kazooie. That one actually seems the most 
Because some people, I think some people have said they should add Master Chief into it. But if there was going to be anyone from Microsoft, it was like on the like list of like who could it possibly be? It's Banjo Kazooie, and then it's Steve from Minecraft, and then maybe Master Chief at the end. I would die if Steve from Minecraft got in. That would be so funny. It would be maybe the funniest thing ever, but also Minecraft has a very good, like, Microsoft and Nintendo's relationship was built off of Minecraft. So that's what makes me think, like, oh, the out of all the series, Banjo-Kazooie makes the most sense, and then the one that makes the most business sense is the Minecraft, Steve from Minecraft, and then the final one is uh, Master Chief. They would have to figure out a way to make him, uh, his guns, like, similar to Snake, where Snake doesn't shoot a bullet, he just shoots explosives everywhere. So they have to do the same. I mean, you thing. can have bullets. Like Bayonetta has guns. Is Bayonetta shooting bullets though? I thought she's shooting magic. Oh yeah, but I mean, magic bullets. What it I'm doesn't have to make it like to physical bullet, like gashing blood everywhere. It can just be a bright orange projectile. All right, fair enough. <laughs> You've made your point. I can see it. Uh, anyone Fox else in the kneecap and Fox is like sprawled out on the stage <laughs> grasping at his bleeding wound that he gets teabagged by Master Chief as he comes in that's his that taunt should be one of his taunts yeah if he was going to be in it that would totally be one of his taunts <laughs> it's just teabagging over the enemy <laughs> oh my god anyone else you can think of uh, for I, me, I, I like a ton be... of games oh Dante Dante 100% yeah, Dante I figured there was yeah. one more for you Zen <laughs> That's what I was like. I, I think there's one more you've mentioned in the past that I think you're just not saying. It's Dante. I, 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 fuck everybody else. Just Dante. That's all I need. Nah, the only one I care about is Typhlosion. He's never been in one, but he will be eventually. Yeah. Come on, has <laughs> definitely been in Smash before. <laughs> Screw. No, 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 no. Not Typhlosion explicitly. <laughs> so you're he saying that. He needs to be in. So he's his own entity. Okay, so you're saying that even though we've set up the fact that they said the DLC hey! characters are not going to be from series already in Smash Brothers, hey! you're still saying... Yes! <laughs> Fuck it all, add Typhlosion. Fuck it all. I was going to say Pokemon from Gold and Silver haven't been in, but there's Pichu. <laughs> oh yeah, Pichu. Yeah. Pichu, Pichu. Pichu's your representative. Oh. That, that douche. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's my... I don't care. That's what you get. Hmm. All right, fine. If th- fine, <laughs> Dragon Ball then. Do it. Add Krillin. Add Krillin. Do it. They won't. They're. How funny would it be if like they don't add Goku, but they added Krillin? <laughs> oh, you know how mad everybody would be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, unbelievably. <laughs> so everybody would be pissed that would be so perfect (laughs) meanwhile like two minutes later you're gonna throw up a video that says krill and it's mesh brothers new main (laughs) (laughs) actually i think it would be funny if it was just kid goku because then you could find out who would like would be really pissed off that it wasn't super saiyan 3 like (laughs) oh yeah reverse goku Goku. yeah wait why it doesn't have to be ultra instinct every time I bet you would get a shit ton of like long ass Reddit posts. Like, I can't believe Nintendo squandered this on Kid Goku. <laughs> Whatever, Kid Goku would have way more of a fun move set. He'd have the power pole. He could have flying Nimbus. He could have I all he would be the Nimbus. Yeah, think of and then his uh, Smash Ball. We just turn into the giant. He turned into Ozuru, and then he just. <laughs> <laughs> oh Kid my Goku God. would be awesome. <laughs> could do that thing that Peach does where she like floats side to side because he can spin his tail like a propeller. Yes. Oh, That'd it's be perfect. It'd be so good. And then you could add uh, assist trophies from <laughs> Dragon Ball. So that, that's how you get your Krillin in there. He's an assist trophy. <laughs> no! <He> shows up. <laughs> I thought the equivalent to saying, hey, you want a new Krillin in Dokkan? We'll make him a port item. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It. And then you could have your put Krillin on spirit. Goku's card, but we won't put his name in the name of the card. Hey, that's fine. As long as the sprite's there, I'm fine with that. Goku it's and the sprite's there, but then the, it, do we know the super attack animation yet? Nah, not yet. Probably tonight. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Like tonight. getting hit, and then Goku gets rid. Of, what if it's when the Piccolo spawn breaks Krillin's neck? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Now you're just creating like terrible scenarios for just D free in general. <laughs> like what? 
Oh no! Wait, Please it would no. be like it would be like the 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 Vegeta and Bulma. So every time uh, Goku got attacked, Krillin got attacked, and then Kid Goku Krillin would, counter- would get attacked, and then Goku would get mad. I mean, the thing is, they <laughs> have they power literally up. one job, and and that's it. So they just need to not mess this opportunity up. That's it. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. I also like that this is going before to be released, so they'll hear <laughs> this before they hear the actual episode. <laughs> Yeah. I love how that came out the like the next day. I know. It's it's our it's our curse. But to get back on Smash Brothers, and this is actually sort of related because they are one of the rumors is that they were gonna add uh one the main hero from Dragon Quest, which makes sense in the sense that Japan fucking loves Dragon Quest. But I'm also one of the few people that likes Dragon Quest, doesn't think that, that that character is the right person to add to Dragon Quest. So I would have liked something like if only because <laughs> or collection died, they should have added die, and it would have oh, been that would have been cool. I would have liked to seen die inside. The kid from Secret of Mana with a dumb name, uh, Randy is that his name? From Secret of Mana, I think so. <laughs> I want him just because his name is Randy. I mean, that'd be pretty good because oh, then you'd have God. to hear that announcer go, Randy. Yeah, every time. <laughs> and your winner is Randy. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be pretty good, but yeah. Uh, other than that, it's, I'm with Smash Brothers reveal characters. I just don't know who I'd want in it. I just know I would like to see something, and if they look cool, then it's good. I felt the same way about Piranha Plant that I felt about Joker. This is really awesome and really dumb. <laughs> this is unbelievable that they're allowed to do this, and very few series get to get away with the fact that like, um. They can have all these characters come together and it not be Mugen and not it be hella illegal and kind of hella janky. So I'm glad for that. Man, I'm glad that, for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're happy for me, dude. Even though I feel like going forward, it's going to be a real pain in the ass. Like, I don't know what happens in next Smash Brothers. What happens in the next roster? Because I don't think you can pay to keep Cloud, Joker, like all Snake. They have to go back to Konami, <laughs> get back all these dudes again. Well, Konami is easy because Konami is like nobody's using them. So, I don't have any money anymore. So, yeah. to them, it's like, yeah, sure, whatever. Here, take Bomberman too, I guess. Have fun. Pac Man, Damn. sure. But uh, stuff like Square is like super tight lipped with everything. Capcom is also pretty happy, I guess, working with them. So, I don't know. Going forward, I don't know. I just know that I like Smash Brothers and I like them to continue making Smash Brothers. I think. The next game, people are going to be disappointed because they're probably not going to have everybody. Won't get in next time. Considering all the horror stories, people have been talking about how hard it was to get them in in this one. Yeah. I mean, doing... I think this is something that... Um... There was there. I remember reading the stories about uh, so Wreck the Wreck It Ralph, the movie that was a bunch of like video game characters put into a movie. Uh, mm-hmm. When Disney had to work with all the different video game companies, they had like problems like having characters be next to each other because in the eyes of a company, their characters are built a very specific way. So one of the funniest examples is that in the meeting room scene in Wreck-It Ralph, like Bowser was a certain height. So Nintendo said, oh, you have to make them this big. And then Nintendo saw what they did, and no, then uh, Sega saw what they did, and they said, well, no, the Eggman has to be way bigger. He has to be as tall as him. (laughs) And so then it was a bunch of video game companies coming in, having a dick measuring contest, going like, no, our character needs to be this big, this big, this big. Until eventually they were, (laughs) Disney was like, no, fucking, this is, it imported to the scene. (laughs) We're not gonna... We're not gonna go any further. So try and make that Doesn't into a fight. Me. Yeah. So try and make that making that into a fighting game sounds like it's a nightmare. It, it just sounds like it's so many moving parts, and just the fact that it can exist somehow is amazing and a testament to something. Yeah, I'm sure that that was a hassle. So it's always nice to see more of these types of games that kind of do include a lot of characters like that. Whether it's Smash or like a jump game, I was always was super, you know, enamored by the concept of just massive crossovers like that. Yeah, and that was also why uh, what something Jump Force, which you had talked about before, the roster decisions in there, like 
Smash Brothers wouldn't work as well as it would if, like, of the 75 characters, uh, 50 of them were all from Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Mario and Zelda and then, like, a couple other characters. It's like, yeah, here's Link fighting Charging Chuck and Buzzy Beetle and Monty Mole. And it's like, no. <laughs> it's not what I want. <laughs> So when a uh, crossover game is able to get the roster right, where the roster feels like, all right, this is a good enough amount of fan service. You got some weird dudes in there. You got dudes that you want. You got unexpected dudes. Similar to like the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 thing of like it had uh, dudes you expect. And then it also had guys like the the Red Armor from Ghost and Goblins. Because it's like, why would you ever include him? But at the same time, why not just include him when you have like him fighting Captain America? It's hilarious. Yeah. So as long as the Smash Brothers is allowed to keep going on and the year is uh, 2030 and I'm playing with my kids and I'm using Mario to fight whoever is like, now Master Chief has finally made it in after like 20 something years. Even though I think I said that that's 10 something years later, but you get what I mean. <laughs> it's amazing and I want it to keep going on, even though it feels like it's probably a hurdle and a hassle to actually create it. You big softy. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, that's a uh, that's another episode of the Legal Gaming Chop Shop. I want to thank D Free for joining us here and talking uh, some no Smash problem, Brothers. It's, it's it's definitely my pleasure. I yeah. always talk about the game that I suck at, but it's fun. I mean, yeah, I can, I'll make you good. I'll make you good. Yeah, find no. some time. No, 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 no. that's well, okay. You'll do that's stream okay. too, where it's like this time I'll I'm training with Zenra, okay. and then no, 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 I don't want to take away Zen's am, am, ammunition. You know the way he. Just kind of came into the call and just threw it at me like that. Oh, you're not good anyway. Oh. Oh. There, I came in, and the first words that I heard was Deeper going, yeah, I'm pretty trash. <laughs> <laughs> the first sound of the call. <laughs> Damn. I mean, that, that was quite That was quite good timing. I mean, yeah, we're the experts of timing when it comes around here. Oh, man. <laughs> It's like, do you need a catch up, Zen? Nah, just <laughs> hearing that he's trash and that good enough. I didn't need Hold to it. hear. Well, all right, everyone. Until next time. This is us. Oh wait, Zen, do you give us your call out? Right, right, right. Oh, fuck. All right, D Free. Here's my new, my favorite segment. We have to talk about games while Zenrot looks for the ending of the episode. So let me tell you, what other games have you been playing? You know, what's got your your interest going? What you've been playing? Damn. <laughs> so, just stone cold silence. <laughs> killing the bit. <laughs> Yo, I was trying so hard to hold that. <laughs> oh my God. Just leaving me out of the fucking air, dude. What the fuck? He's like, so what games are you playing? So, so what you been playing? <laughs> Come on. Get me Hello? something. Uh, <laughs> uh, not really anything. I just been so 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 busy with uh, work. So other than that, just mobile games really, because hmm. they're the only things I can actually sit down and play. But uh, other than that, um, NBA 2K. Other than that, oh NBA 2K is a uh, are those games good? I've never played. <laughs> like uh, I've my my only reference to those kind of games are the wrestling games and those are those wrestling games are not good but they also are pretty good simulation so i'm never 100 percent sure if the other like 2k style games are actually legitimately good or if it's similar to for people like me where it's like i really like basketball and here's the thing that currently has the basketball game uh, i buy it every year even though it's kind of like the same game but yeah they're pretty fun i enjoy them all right. You really, what happens is every year you kind of just there's marginal updates, but really it's just a roster change, mm. you know, minor gameplay changes. But that's it. So it's just bunch like a bunch of different like roster changes in essence. Then and it's, another thing that they have now is they kind of have like their it. own little gotcha system and stuff like that. So wait, they have a gotcha uh, in there? Sorta. It's luck based, and then they also have the whole like spend this much to get this then you because they have a whole little separate game mode in there too 
is uh, there called my team so is there like banners is there like a pull for lebron now and <laughs> like the for a limited time <laughs> sorta 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 not exactly it's a little bit different but pretty much it's it's literally almost a guy so you're gonna have to try it out it's i can't a lot of it though is you get a specific pack and you get that character okay yeah. i see that's interesting that's weird to think about other games are going the gotcha route as well yeah it seems to do pretty well they've had it for a few years now so all right as long as it works for them and people like it what can you do all right zenrot what's our ending it is thank you everybody for coming to the illegal gaming chop shop where we talk non-stop shop about the cream of the gaming crap goodbye everybody goodbye oh all right uh yeah well i guess i'm the only one left uh okay but keeping all of that in just for you to know <laughs> <laughs> you should have just no, I, like i said for it an just extra for 30 seconds just kept talking about just just okay <laughs> uh, by yourself <laughs> So is there like banners for Michael Jordan? Is like Jordan his own thing? Is there? <laughs> well, see, it's it, you know it, it's different because they have this whole little card game in there. So you you get the cards themselves. 